All right, this meeting is being recorded. You've all been warned. <laughs> Hi, good morning. It is uh, Monday morning. I am Anna Gibbs, and I am so excited that you're here with me today. Today, we're celebrating one year of Monday Morning Mojo. So I find that to be really, really exciting, probably because I've stuck with something for a whole year. Yay! <laughs> no, seriously, right? I mean, it's it's tough sometimes to keep that momentum going and uh, you stuck it out with me. I'm here, you're here, and I'm so excited. So happy anniversary, Monday Morning Mojo peeps. Good morning to all of you who are here on Zoom with me. And also uh, to those of you who are watching through the Facebook group, I'm really excited. It's a great way to start our week. Um, it's a great way for us to kick off this morning. And I think if we're going to live life, we might as well live it to the best of our ability. Don't you agree? So we're going to talk about uh, something today that, I don't know, we talk about it, but I don't know if we really talk about it. And I think it ties in really well to the fact that it's one year of Mojo. And I am certainly grateful to have had this opportunity uh, to, to come on every week and, and share thoughts and ideas with you um, and, and really just do whatever I can to inspire or challenge or get you thinking, you know, um, as coaches, right? Um, that's what we do. We give you these questions that get you thinking. And if we're not giving ourselves an opportunity to really examine our life, um, can we say that we're really living it to, to the fullest, right? So um, if you're taking notes, you should write this down. Um, my life has changed by the power of the questions I ask myself, right? My life can be changed by the power of the questions I ask myself. So in other words, it's not just to ask questions of ourselves, and it's certainly not about questioning our, our ability, but it's about asking powerful questions that get us to think and open up and I think um, challenge our own status quo sometimes, right? And so what I love about being a coach, a thought leader, a speaker, uh, one day an author, um, is that because of the connection to each other, because of the questions we can ask, um, we can really open up thoughts that can, can move us forward in a, in a whole new direction or move us forward further than we thought we could be. And I know that we have so much potential and most of that potential can be untapped and so if I can help any of you, and in return, you're helping each other, you're helping me, examine more of what we want out of life and, and create this awakening, really, then, you know, that to me is the, is the purpose of our lives, right? Because we're all here, and we can all say that we're all here for a purpose, yet do we take the time to examine that? So that's what a lot of my thoughts and my mission has been around Monday Morning Mojo. So again, um, thanks for being here. Good morning again, everyone. Um, and I want to talk a little bit about gratitude today, too. Um, again, I think that's something that people, we talk about it, but do we really drill it down? And so if I was to ask you how you express gratitude in your life, how you experience gratitude in your life, what comes to mind? And, you know, I think that, um, it, it, you know, right now, it, 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 in the last 12, 18 months, uh, it could be a challenge, right, to find enough things to be grateful for. And I think that there is always something to be grateful for. Um, and I know that sometimes we can be faced with adversity and challenge, and we can be faced with, you know, uncertain times in our business and our relationships in our life, in our health, maybe even. And, you know, it could be a challenge to find something to be grateful for. Um, but I think that there's always something that we can, can look at and say, um, I appreciate it. I'm glad to be able to experience. I'm glad to have it. Um, and so I, I would love for those of you who are with me on Zoom and can actually uh, talk to me. And th those of you who are on Facebook, use the chat or the comments. What are you grateful for right now? You know, what is one thing that you can say you are truly grateful for? Does anyone want to kick that off this morning? I'd love to hear from you. Don't be shy. Hi, Jill. Hi, I'm grateful for being healthy and for maintaining the uh, structure that I have in my head. <laughs> I get up every day and I do 
the things that give me sort of the framework to then move through the uh, the challenges, be they you know uh, cognitively, uh, emotionally, uh, you know how the world hand it comes my way. So it gives me uh, sort of peace to know that I've got certain things that'll give me relief from the stressors. Beautiful. Thank you for sharing. Um, again, if you're on Facebook, please put that uh, your thoughts on Facebook. And if anyone else would like to share, I have time for one more. Anybody else? What are you grateful for today? Hi, Megan. Hi. I am grateful for this beautiful area that we live in. Yeah. I can't even. The Hudson Valley Catskills is like beyond right now and gives me so much joy. Like just going to the gas station to fill up my car is like a spiritual experience at this point <laughs> of the year. So, yeah. yeah, you know, it is a beautiful part of New York for sure. We are very fortunate to live here. But, you know, I love what you said about something as, as ordinary or mundane as putting gas in your car can create a spiritual awakening if you choose to pick your head up and look around, right? And I think um, that's a big part of what I would love to, you know, leave with all of you this morning is, you know, what is your awareness, right? That's, I use the term awakening. So if you're taking notes, write down awareness, because in order for you to really be grateful or express gratitude, you have to have a level of awareness of, of what is going on in your life or what is around you. And, and you know why I think it's so important to express, to feel, and to share gratitude is because it changes our perspective. When you really want to focus on the gratitude and being grateful, you're looking for the positives, right? So what we focus on expands. So when we are in a daily practice of gratitude, then we're searching, our, our mind is searching for those positive things that we want to be grateful for, that we are grateful for. And so I think that, you know, it is important to have gratitude in your life for many reasons, one of which is because it starts to shape our focus and it moves our vision towards the positive. And the more that we seek out the positive, it starts to change the way that we think, right? So we know this concept of neuroplasticity. And so as we look for more positive things and we recognize and we're aware of it and we share it, then our mind is gonna seek more of the same, right? So it's creating these, these new passageways in our brain. So that's one reason why it's really important to express gratitude. I think another reason is uh, there's been so much positive psychology, you know, I was talking about this on uh, Friday. Friday, I did a group session with our staff and the topic was about was happiness. And I posed a question to the group. Um, are you looking to accomplish something in order to be happy? Or are you seeking out happiness in order to accomplish more? And I think that that's an important question to ask ourselves too. You know, what's coming first and, and how we could look for ways to be happy to feel happy, grateful, and in doing so, know that we will actually achieve success at a higher level because of that. Rather than waiting to achieve some level of success to be ha in order to be happy, right? And I believe that that happiness, I know that that happiness has to come from within. We have to be able to, to fulfill our own image, belief, and need for joy and happiness and not seek it from out, outside or external circumstances, right? And so again, you know, this whole concept of, of our mindset and recognizing more of what we want in our lives is so transformative. Like it will change your world, okay? Because whatever you look for, you will find. So if you're looking for the problems, if you're looking for the negative, you will find them. And so if you're looking for ways that things are not working in your business, you'll find them. But if you change and shift the way that you are thinking and you look for the opportunity and you look for the things that truly make you feel grateful and appreciate even the challenges, right? Because we learn from those challenges, right? And, and success in, in anything is never a straight line. It's always going to have some, some curves to it. So we have to be willing to accept the challenges Maybe we have to even be willing to accept the failures. And in, in doing so, can we be grateful for them? 
So here's a journal prompt if you'd like, or a question you can ask, or, or I can ask you and you can talk about with me now. Um, when you look back, was there a time, is there ever a time that you felt really overwhelmed or challenged by something that at the time felt like, you know, a failure? And now looking back, you realize it was just an opportunity or it was a huge blessing. I mean, how many of you who are in or in business, uh, especially for yourselves, or you're working, you know, at a high level to achieve bigger, bigger results, um, can can attest to that, right? I mean, how many of you? Anyone? On, am I the only one who could say I can look back and say, "Whoo, wow!" You know, what I thought was the end of the world at that moment was there to teach me something, and I can be grateful for that. I can be really grateful because if it wasn't for that op, that mishap or that, you know. Uh, roadblock or, or weird turn in the road, I wouldn't have learned fill in the blank. I wouldn't have experienced fill in the blank. I wouldn't have had to, you know, go back to the drawing board and learn how to be more strategic, right? Is anybody with me? Anyone tracking with me? I love your thoughts. Megan, I have to pick on you because I see, I can see your face and you're like, yes, girl. Oh my gosh. Yes. So you, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I had two things in my life. One was our, um, apartment building burned you know had a huge wow. fire in Brooklyn and all 12 units we had to move out for a full year and it was one of the hardest things ever and it is what in retrospect led me directly to moving to the Hudson Valley and to this new life that we have here that we totally love that we never expected and so that to me was such a clear lesson and then obviously in business you know, I had some challenges as I was moving to KW and it just is like, I don't know if I could go back and tell my past self, like, you're going to learn from this and you're going to, you're going to see you're it's yeah. I think, I think those, both of those things taught me that there are not, I tell my current self, if something's hard, actually, you're going to learn from this. Yeah. Right. Because either, either we're learning and growing or truthfully, we're just waiting to die off at some point. And I don't mean that in a morbid way. I mean that in terms of our own thinking, right? Like we have to realize that if we're not learning, we're not growing. And if something doesn't grow, it dies. And so we have an opportunity every day to decide how we wanna think about that. And you had some, some challenges and, and adversity and you could have said, I'm going to let the, you know, in some sense, you could have said, I'm going to let this, you know, control me, or I'm going to turn this into an opportunity to take control and figure it out, right? And so I think we have to believe everything is, is figure outable. Um, but at the end of the day, I think that when we look around and realize what is, what is life here to teach us, right? Whoever said that we were supposed to just be here um, and just enjoy the, the rose garden and, and not have some challenges and adversity. I mean, without those challenges and adversity, how will we grow? How will you learn to be more strategic? How will you learn to be more uh, self-reliant or be more resourceful without those challenges, right? So I think that in itself is a lot to be grateful for. Thank you for sharing. Uh, anybody else have anything they want to share before I, I keep going? Because <laughs> you know I can keep talking. Hi, Sarah. Good morning. Good morning. Yes, I, <clears throat> I may have shared this before, but I think it's worth repeating. Remember that point in COVID where it seemed like your whole life was about food preparation because everybody was <laughs> at home all the time? Right. My yoga teacher had a really brilliant one. She said, instead of saying, oh my God, I have to make another meal, it's look at all this great food that I have and we get, I get to make this delicious meal for us. That you get to. And, and I'm so glad you brought that up because it's a perfect segue into another part of, of my notes this morning. You know, I think it's about changing our mindset, which means we have to change the way we think and the way we speak. And we don't have to do anything, but we get to do a lot of things. Right, so I get to do this with you every Monday morning. I get to go to work every day at a at a at a job or a career or a vocation at this point. I think that I love and that I have the ability to to connect with people and inspire people and support people through my coaching and my leadership. And in turn, 
I get so much. I get to uh, learn and, and have my bucket filled as well. And so I think that, you know, again, if you're writing notes, write down, cross out, I have to, and just replace it with, I get to, right? I get to look on some real basic level. We should all be grateful that we get up every morning, right? I get to get up every morning and, and I'm physically capable and I'm able to go to work and do the things that I do. Um, and, you know, I'm grateful for just the air that I breathe. And, and you know, some people could be like, oh, you know, uh, okay. But at the end of the day, think about it. Through some crazy, uh, you know, I guess, stroke of divine luck, blessing, opportunity, Two people, your mother and your father, got together, and of all of the, you know, biological things that could have happened with one egg and one particular sperm, here you are, right? And I, I just find that to be amazing. I, I was reading something. Um, no, I'm sorry. It was a, it was a uh, Deepak Chopra meditation. I want to thank Deb Dolan because she got me listening to that. Uh, I think Deb's watching on Facebook. And so uh, one of the meditations that I heard this weekend was talking about, you know, the power of intention. And it was talking about the, the, the power of one little seed. And he talked about the acorn, right? In that acorn is the blueprint and the DNA for a mighty oak tree, right? So when you think about it, how grateful are you to be a human being? And even though the mighty oak is beautiful and majestic, you could have been a tree. You could have been a tree, but you're not. You're a human being who can think, who can speak, who can strategize, who can, you know, move around and do the things that we do. That in itself is a lot to be grateful for. What will you do with that life? What will you do with that opportunity? Are you living life to the absolute fullest? And, and how can you be grateful for those things along the way? And I just thought our first mojo anniversary was a great opportunity to talk about gratitude because I think gratitude can change your life. When you can start to appreciate the things around you and the people around you, you will start to think differently and you will act differently. And therefore, uh, as I've said on this um, session many times before, what you, well, what you believe to be true is how you start to think and what you think becomes what you say and that becomes what you do. And those are the results that you're getting in your life. So can gratitude change your life because it starts to change your thinking? And in doing that, you start to have different results. So can, can being more grateful and seeking out the positives and appreciating the positives and then magnifying that by not just keeping it to yourself, but by sharing that gratitude with others, what kind of transformation could your life take on for that? Can you start your day expressing gratitude and end your day expressing gratitude, right? And so when we think about some of the challenges we've all been through or, or others, um, there are countless ways that we can see and express how life has really transformed us and be grateful for that. So, um, you know, I think that, again, if you were to take a couple of notes about why gratitude was important, number one, it shifts your focus. It moves your attention from the negative to the positive. And in doing that, your brain is going to want to seek out more. So it's, it's really giving you this, this exercise in calling in more positive things, which then we could talk about manifestation and how you could manifest more positive things in your life because of it. Um, and listen, I get it. Like a real shift in focus doesn't happen overnight. It's kind of like a muscle that you have to build on. Uh, so it's something that you should do daily, just like, you know, exercise uh, is, is the same concept, right? So if you are recognizing and expressing gratitude daily, that muscle will build, right? So that's important. And the second thing about why gratitude is so powerful is because of the shift in focus and the way that you keep building on this, it is going to actually improve the quality of your life. I have no doubt about it. Because why? Because you're going to continue to shift into that positive way of thinking you're going to seek out more positive opportunities. So you're going to start manifesting those things. Uh, research has proven that people who are um, expressing gratitude on a regular basis have lower blood pressure. They live longer. They're happier. 
So if you're looking for ways to really, I, I mean, talk about self-care. If you're looking for ways to put yourself first, start with the way that you're thinking and, and use gratitude as a tool. I think that can be a much more um, long lasting effect and have a greater impact than any bubble bath or massage ever could. So when we think about self care, I think gratitude has to be in there because it will make you feel happier. And as I was saying to you, uh, had that conversation on Friday, um, is, is that the more that we seek out happiness, the happier we feel, right? So this starts to become a snowball effect in the most positive way. I think another reason why expressing gratitude is powerful, uh, it goes back to that shift in, in your focus. I think that, and why it relieves stress and causes less anxiety is because I think the more that you start focusing on the positives, the fear that you have around some of the other stuff, the negatives and, and the things that are not really seen, because I think that fear is always about something we're imagining most often. I think 96% of the time, it's, it's something we're imagining that's probably never going to happen. So the more we focus on gratitude, it's kind of like putting on a different pair of lens, right? It's like looking through a different lens. So it starts to make the fears seem very small until they kind of disappear. And so I think that having that, that energy around gratitude, which is a very high vibration, can actually make most of your fears dissipate. So there's a positive, right? In creating a ritual around gratitude. Um, another thing that I think gratitude does, I mean, it has for me personally, for sure, it has really increased my faith. I think that when I express gratitude and really feel gratitude for me, it connects me back to my source. It connects me to a divine spirit. Uh, and I'm really grateful for, for that energy, that guiding spirit in my life. So I think that it can do a lot to increase your faith. I think that it also can put a deeper appreciation for, like Megan said, even just putting gas in the car, you look up and you're like, wow, I so appreciate this natural beauty around me and where I live. And I think that it does a lot to help you have that appreciation for, for life. Um, and so that leads to having, I think, this peace of mind, right? I think it, it, it can bring tranquility in and it can allow you to, which is why the health benefits I mentioned earlier start showing up. And I think that all those good endorphins and the good, the good feeling hormones show up. And I think that it gives us a peace of mind. So it may even reduce some level of anxiety. So expressing gratitude can, can do that. And then the last thing I will say is that gratitude for all of you high achievers, gratitude is a powerful way for you to get to your goal. Because when you are, all these things that we just talked about, and when you are programmed to see the positives and the opportunities, imagine how much more strategic you start thinking. Imagine how much more motivated you feel. Imagine how much more inspired you feel, right? Because you're, you're, you're just, you're, you're in this state of gratitude. And so it makes you really start to see things differently around you. And so it starts to create this programming of seeking out opportunity, of, of, of working at a higher level, you're vibrating at a higher level. So that energy is visible, literally palpable to people around you. So uh, you start to attract opportunity towards you. You work at a different level. So I believe expressing gratitude is a tool to help you get more of what you want in life too. And so for all of you who have big goals um, or would like to set and achieve bigger goals, it could start right here. It could start with this, this, this whole conversation around bringing more gratitude into your life. And um, so again, you know, for our one year anniversary, I thought this was a powerful subject. And I'm gonna share it with you. I, I may have shared this with you before. Some of you may know, some of you may not. Um, you know, I've been happily married to Matt Gibbs now. It'll be 18 years this November, uh, but that wasn't always the case for me. I was married before and I was in a very abusive marriage for 10 years. I was with that person, physically abusive, mentally and emotionally abusive, nothing like the life I live now. And so even in those dark times for me personally, I found ways to feel gratitude for what I did have. I, uh, it wasn't always easy. And I learned to really rely on my faith. And now looking back on that, 
23 years later. Uh, it is astounding to me to see the changes that I have experienced in my life. And I will tell you, yes, I've worked hard to do all the things that I've done, but it had to start with a certain level of gratitude. And it had to start with uh, that feeling that I was worthy. I had, it had to start with that feeling that I could appreciate the beauty around me and want to seek out more of the things that were positive. And so today, you know, I personally take very little for granted. The really good tasting cup of coffee, uh, the pillow I put my head on at night, whatever anyone might say is a material possession that I have, none of which matters, but I'm grateful for it all. I'm grateful for you and all the work that I do because life could have been very different for me. So we all have an opportunity to reflect and feel that kind of gratitude. Whether you've been through something traumatic, um, well, let me, let, me, let me rephrase that. We've all had trauma, okay? The trauma is different for everyone, but no one's trauma is bigger than, than anyone else's in the sense that when you go through trauma, uh, you, are, you, have, you have to go through transformation, right? So we've all had trauma. And so when we go, when we look back on our lives, you know, we could focus on all the negatives, we could focus on all the trials and, and challenges and the pain and the trauma, or we can pull out the learnings from that and take the good stuff from that and pack it with us and go on our way to look at how we can continue to live our lives in the biggest, best way possible for ourselves, not for anyone else, right? So the life that you live has to be the life that works for you. And the life that you live has to be that vision that you have that is meaningful to you and not about trying to compare your life to anyone else or your journey to anyone else. And so that's why I say, you know, happiness, gratitude, all of that is right here. Just open up your heart, reach in and really start to connect with that. So thank you so much for hanging out with me every Monday morning. I love this opportunity. And I would love to hear from you this week on the Facebook page. If you wouldn't mind putting down anything that you're grateful for or what you've learned from uh, these Monday Morning Mojo sessions, what you're getting out of the group, any kind of feedback is gonna be really um, inspiring and, and helpful not only to me, but to someone else. And so, you know, we all have the power to encourage each other. And um, I'm looking to bring you more great content this year. Uh, and if there's a particular subject or anything that you'd like to talk about, please let me know. Um, so before we close off for this morning, I always like to make sure if there's anything that anyone would like to say or any ahas that you've had from being on here this morning, I would love for you to share. Thanks again to my faithful Zoom group. I love the energy you bring to uh, this Monday Morning Mojo because, you know, sometimes you could just feel like you're talking to yourself. So thanks for being here. <laughs> Anybody have anything to say before we sign off? Congratulations, Anna. Oh, I just wanted you. to say this was wonderful. Appreciate these, these crazy Monday mornings at 730 and happy you haven't changed the time. Uh, yeah, so I, did anyway. think it, I did think about it. Honestly, I'll tell you, uh, Monday morning is significant in my mind that we start the week off right, right? You know, like this is an opportunity. You, you make a choice to be here on a Monday morning. We could do this on any other day of the week, but if we can start the week off and continue that momentum, how much more powerful could it be? And, and, I, and of course, to line up with that, I thought, well, let's do it early, right? Let's just create the, the behavior pattern that you're going to make a decision to do something good for yourself, whether you're on Zoom or you're listening through Facebook, 7.30 a.m. Monday morning, first thing, here you are. So congratulations to you guys for doing that. Uh, and uh, it's, it's definitely also, I'm also learning about discipline by being here to provide, you know, facilitate this for you. So thank you. Cher, did you want to say something? Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, I just wanted to say, uh, you know what, all through the years, we've, we've always um, been taught about um, paying attention and having your daily gratitudes. In fact, they're, they're right here in, in our, in our bold um, yes. calendar. So but I never really thought about it as being a power tool to goal achievement. So I think that that is a, you know, that's just like, you know, pulling the pieces together and, and it's, um, 
to me, that's, that was my aha for today. Great. Awesome. I love it. And I'm new, I'm new to this Monday morning with you. So I, I find that I'm also very happy that it's at 730 and not a little bit later because the, the, our day starts. Yeah. So I appreciate that. And even though this has only been like day number three, it's, it's meaning a lot to me. And I do know that it does take discipline to be here and to, to facilitate this group. And I appreciate you. Thank uh, you. Thank you so much. Thank you. I'm so glad you're here. Anyone else want to anything, have anything to say before we sign off? I do. Just one thing, Anna. Hi, hey, Karen. How are you? How I'm sorry. I couldn't hear you. I said, how are you doing this morning, love? Tired, love. Oh, no. Come on. It's Monday morning. We're going to get this week going. Okay. So I'm grateful for laying out in the sun yesterday for one hour. Beautiful day yesterday, wasn't it? <laughs> yes. And I worked. Yes. Beautiful. Awesome. Well, I am grateful for all of you. I am grateful for all of the people that you touch every day doing the work that you do. Uh, and if you find value and great content here from Monday Morning Mojo, please share it with your friends. I would love to see the group grow. And uh, I, I would love to see more faces on a Monday morning. So thank you for who you are. And we will we'll see you back here. Uh, we'll have a very special Monday morning mojo next week. Um, live from Aruba, because I am going to Aruba this Friday, which I'm very grateful for. And I've decided that I am going to continue Monday Morning Mojo, and we're going to have a, a, a really great conversation, maybe on the beach, so don't miss it. Uh, and if for whatever reason, because I will be on location, uh, if you can't get on Zoom, just jump on the Facebook group, because once in a while I have those issues when I'm traveling. But I, I want to keep my commitment to you, and um, I'm sure that there'll be something inspiring I can share being that I'll be so relaxed on the beach. So thank you all so much. Have an awesome day. I'll see you next week. Anna, I'll be asleep next Monday morning at my bungalow. Oh, no problem. Oh, that's right. It's Memorial Day too. Yeah. So, but I'll see you guys. Uh, whoever's on with me, we'll have a great conversation. I'll talk to you then. Safe all right. travels. Have a wonderful time, Anna. Thanks so much. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye.